Hello everyone. If you are looking for a powerful yet low-cost lithium battery cell welder, then don't skip this video. In this video, I will show you how to build a compact but extremely powerful cell welder. Moreover, the cost to make it is very low. You can even reuse components from old devices to build it. No transformer or supercapacitor is needed. All you need is a car battery of about 30 hours. If you don't have one, you can also use lithium batteries to power the circuit. Although simple, this cell welder also supports dual pulses. The first short pulse preheats the weld spot so that the second longer pulse can easily weld the nickel strip onto the battery. As a result, the welds are strong and clean. Thanks to JLCPCB for sponsoring the PCB for this project. This project is open source, and you can use the files I provide below the video description to order both the PCB and PCBA. This is quite a small project. If you only produce the PCB, the cost is just $3.5, including $2 for the PCB and $1.5 for shipping. If you don't know how to order PCB or PCBA, please watch the tutorial video right after this. After about one week, I received my PCB. The quality is excellent. The operating principle of this circuit is very simple. A high discharge battery is connected to the circuit. Six powerful MOSFETs act as switches to deliver a short pulse of about 10 milliseconds to the welding pen. This pulse melts the weld spot and helps the nickel strip adhere firmly to the battery. I will solder the MOSFETs first, because these MOSFETs can handle very high currents, so they have multiple source pins. You need to use a soldering iron with at least 60 watts of power to solder these MOSFETs. If your soldering iron is not strong enough, you can preheat the PCB to make soldering easier. Avoid soldering the MOSFETs for too long, as they may be damaged by overheating.
Because the maximum welding current can reach several hundred amps, we need to use sufficiently thick wires to connect everything together. Here, I use 6A bubble G cable to connect the circuit with the welding pen and the battery. 